E3 2021 is right around the corner, and I'm going to use this opportunity to manifest something I would love to see in Splatoon 3. Not a super cool game mode, or rad hairstyles and gear, though I do want those, please deliver Nintendo, but a feature I'm genuinely not sure we're going to get, but nonetheless one that several people on YouTube keep asking for. Apartments! Let's take a few minutes to envision what an apartment feature could be like in Splatoon. In my mind, this would be a spot you could access from a menu or somewhere in the main square area. We can already see apartments with air conditioners in the windows from the trailer back in February, and that's what's really got me hoping, really hoping this time, that we could have cute little studio apartments. In your apartment, you could show off trophies or achievements for completing the single player campaign, for your different ranks in competitive. The walls could have posters for idols in the game like the Squid Sisters, or different musical groups like Off the Hook and the many fictional bands in the universe. You could have a CD player. Oh, wait, do we even use those these days? Well, some kind of music player or speakers could be playing different songs from the soundtrack, and you could choose one as your default music for the apartment. There could be a spot for your little buddy to hang out, spots to hang up sets of clothing you either use in game or just love and want to show off. Splatoon has amazing clothes in this game. I will be shouting about how much I love the orca woven high tops and various satin jackets for days. I want to be able to show them off, especially because even as I take gear for abilities into account, I only use gear that I look fresh in, you know? Apartments open up the door to various customizations. I don't know if I reasonably expect something as detailed as Animal Crossing as far as decoration goes, or Genshin Impact's teapot system recently, but it would be cool to have a few different things to choose from to put on walls or to display, or to choose what hair color you have and other customizations so you can see your inkling how you want them to look while they're lounging in their room. Splatoon draws heavily from urban youth culture seen in places like Tokyo, which you can see from many of the stages and the fashion. So it'd be cool to see skateboards or rollerblades in the corner of your room, concert and movie ticket stubs pinned to a corkboard on the wall and whatnot. Nintendo has always released special gear on Splatoon Amiibos, but what if it also included furniture as well? Or there could be an area to shop for a few different sets of furniture. There could be a few new brands selling furniture, or maybe some of the existing brands expanded into furniture. I just know that I want a classy Tony Kensa couch. I'm not expecting super detailed decoration features or tons of furniture sets in lots of recolors and customization of that furniture, though that would be neat and Animal Crossing definitely has me thinking about that. And with the overlap in team members between Animal Crossing and Splatoon, we can dream, right? Splatoon has amazing style. Nintendo, show it off some more. Plus, what if notes about game updates were displayed on a computer you have in your room? There are so many possibilities. And it's not like this is the first time you've probably heard of the apartments idea. Several other YouTubers and Splatoon fans have talked about wanting this. And the loading screen for Splatoon 1 showed a room of an inkling in the vein of a studio apartment or dorm room. But we can go further. What if people on your friends list could visit your apartment? They'd see your character lounging in a chair or on a futon or something, or a Tony Kansa couch, I'm just saying. Your little buddy could be chilling out with you. They'd get to check out all those awards you're showing off or check out your favorite gear. Maybe even be able to take selfies with you in your room. Nintendo already has an easy way to share photos from the Switch through the photo album, sharing to social media or to your phone. So why not take advantage of that? It's a huge part of Animal Crossing and now new Pokemon Snap. And I feel like it's underutilized in Splatoon. Sure, we have 30 second video clips and we can take photos, but the photo taking besides screenshots in Splatoon is available only with Amiibos. Splatoon's got style, let us show it off more. Realistically, do I think we're going to get apartments? Not really. And it makes sense why Nintendo developers wouldn't want to add new features without a good reason. It takes time and resources. Feature creep is a problem many game developers are forced to contend with at some point, especially in large projects. My primary focus, and likely the community's primary focus, will be on the multiplayer aspect of Splatoon. 
And I do hope we get something like Salmon Run in Splatoon 3, even if it isn't Salmon Run. After all, it would be tragic to hunt down Salmonids with little buddy in the mix. So if something had to be dropped to keep feature creep away, the apartments would be something reasonable to cut. But I do think this would be a pretty neat feature that, depending on its depth, could even attract newer players who are intimidated by the competitive scene and just want to vibe in Splatoon. I know several people who come into my streams and say they love the aesthetic of Splatoon, but are a little scared of getting into the game and being bad at it. They feel pressured by ranked mode and league, but they love the lore, setting, characters, and art of Splatoon. Maybe newer players who haven't played a whole lot of multiplayer games would take the leap on Splatoon 3 if there were some other features to pique their interest and spend their time on. I really do think the potential benefits outweigh the costs, but it's obviously not my call on whether apartments are added. I'm not sure how Nintendo structures the team for Splatoon now, with Animal Crossing still getting occasional updates. The pandemic must have delayed development on Splatoon, and though some details we saw in the trailer will likely change by the game's planned release next year, it was a meaty trailer, and seemed to me that there were some significant resources put towards Splatoon 3's trailer well ahead of the trailer's release from earlier this year. I expect we'll see a couple new things added to the game that weren't present in Splatoon 2. And I just really hope one of those things is a cute living space. I'm dying here, Nintendo. Nogami, please. What do you all think? Are we all fools for dreaming of Splatoon apartments? Do you even want to see this feature in the game? Let me know in the comments, or you can chat with me during my streams at twitch.tv slash roseofbattle. I stream Mondays and Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern and Fridays at 2 p.m. Eastern. Plus, I'm the newest team member of Spawn Point. We have a charity event for the Trevor Project coming up very soon, so make sure you check that out. I'll be raising money on Monday and Wednesday night, plus Friday afternoon, as I play with fellow LGBTQIA streamers. Check the link in the description for the Tiltify link to donate. It's been quite a while since my last Splatoon video, so I want to offer my sincerest thanks to you all for subscribing to me and being patient for more videos while I've been busy with a new job. Feel free to stop by my Twitch streams to chat. And if you haven't checked out my Salmoned lore video yet, make sure you do. It's linked in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and don't forget to stay fresh.